I would like to share some basics on Megasquirt acceleration enrichment tuning. These are some things that I found very helpful and I'm going to try to stick to the absolute basics. Let me start by saying this is not comprehensive. I just wanted to show you the most important things that you can change in the settings to get your setup running right away because depending on the size of injectors, the fuel system, the size of motor that you have, these things will change quite dramatically. There's a lot of factors that will change how your motor runs with acceleration enrichment. First of all, let's just give you the link here, I can put it in the description, of where to go to get the details if you're really interested in learning this at a deeper level. DIY Autotune, the creators of Megasquirt, they have an article, if you just Google Acceleration Enrichment Megasquirt, this is the first thing that comes up. It gives you a comprehensive overview of everything that are in these settings and why you adjust them. So if you just give this a thorough read over, you'll be able to get a lot more in depth than I'm going to go today. But, but what I will show you today should get you up and running for whatever vehicle you have, you can mess with it and uh, hopefully have a little bit better time getting up and going if you're chopping out a bass tune. Okay, so let's start here. These are the settings for the basic acceleration enrichment that Megascore offers. What we want to focus on today is throttle position based acceleration enrichment. So right here you can see this slider you can move it back and forth and blend between map-based acceleration enrichment and throttle position-based acceleration enrichment. For today, just keeping it basic to get you going, we're going to go all the way over as the default is at 100% throttle position-based acceleration enrichment. So what you'll see here is you have this map here of the TPS dot and the added milliseconds of fuel when acceleration enrichment is activated. To give you a quick basics on this, acceleration enrichment is there for l mostly low RPM throttle wax. So when you're you know shifting a manual transmission and you're throttle blipping down or you're taking off from a stoplight and you give it that little blip of gas to try to get the motor spun up and get you moving, this is where it helps the motor to become smooth because when you crack open the throttle your motor is ingesting a big push of air. It just sucks in air right there. And it's not sufficient enough to get fuel to mix with that big gasp of air just from the fuel in your fuel table. A lot of the times it will work okay from your fuel table, but it won't be as smooth as it is unless you have acceleration enrichment. So that's why it's here. It's for those throttle cracks where you, it sucks in a big whiff of air and it needs an extra quick shot of fuel to give you uh, the proper uh, air fuel ratio when your motor sucks in a gasp of air on a throttle blip. So with that being said, to keep this basic, the TPS dot is a percentage change in throttle uh, position. So this lower 167% and this 1100%, this is rate of change, basically how fast your throttle opens. So down here uh, in these zones, you have kind of smaller throttle blips. You know, you kind of, you move your pedal just a little bit to shift or something. This up here, the 700 and 1000, these are your really quick percentage changes. So you just smack the throttle open, it, it makes a, a, a really fast change, um, the percent per second. You just smack it open and, and that's where this is controlling. So basically you have a line here in milliseconds of injector spray that it provides depending on how fast you open the throttle. Okay, So on a stock injector car, you might have maybe 200 cc injectors or like 20 pound-ish injectors. These values would be somewhere in the like five, uh, maybe more like three, five, uh, or six, and then 10, and then 15. Okay, so I'm going to go back to just set these back to normal to where they were here. But as you get bigger injectors, uh, a millisecond of spray time makes a huge difference 
when you have an injector that can spray a lot more in a millisecond. So what you need to do is adjust these settings, this added uh, throttle position, or sorry, this added milliseconds of injector spray. So what I've noticed is I had a car that a friend brought to me and it had 900 cc injectors. Well, it had the factory base tune values from Megasquirt for the, the TPS based throttle enrichment, these right here. So it was about three, five, 10, and 15 milliseconds. Well, what would happen is if you would give it gas or throttle it a little bit, even pulling away from a light with a manual transmission, it would bog and then rev up real quick. And it would just, it completely killed the motor because it was spraying so much fuel with these base settings um, and the 900 cc injectors that it basically killed the motor from too much fuel. And then as soon as the motor could get a little bit more air, it would rev back up again. So all we did is went in here and adjusted these so that for that bigger injector, 0.2 milliseconds, like 0.7, 1.2, and 2 milliseconds at these high high speed openings and it completely fixed the problem and I've seen this happen a few times where throttle uh, you know someone makes a different uh, a change in their tune they get a bigger fuel pump they change their injectors something changes in the way that the motor is set up especially for injectors and fuel system and the throttle enrichment is all all wrong and really these are what you need to change to make that work better so don't be afraid to mess with these you know if your car if it's still giving you problems you know with these settings try moving these around you can try like one two three four uh you know whatever you need to do just try it it sometimes it just takes a little bit to get this figured out it's not always easy um just going off of base settings so Feel free to, to mess with these. These settings down here at the bottom are not as crucial as you would think. Um, basically, you can leave these as um, the as the standard settings that they give you in the acceleration enrichment wizard from a base tune, and then mostly focus on the percentage, uh, the TPS dot with milliseconds of fuel added. The cold enrichment, uh, we can start here. Like the cold enrichment is just how much more fuel uh, when the motor's cold that it gives during a throttle blip under acceleration enrichment. Uh, like 75% or, you know, two milliseconds more. You can adjust this. Um, usually motors need a lot more fuel under cold conditions. So you'll, you'll just have to play with this. Sometimes it likes it, sometimes it doesn't. These are what are good for my car that have 900 cc injectors um, the decel fuel amount this is when uh, you're decelerating really quickly how much fuel is cut um, if you leave it at hundred percent it will if you leave this at hundred percent it won't cut any at ninety percent uh, it's cutting ten percent fuel if you have a manual transmission car, you kind of want to keep this between 90 and 100. Uh, it doesn't, they don't really like uh, to be, have a lot of fuel removed instantly or else they can buck. It can trigger it to kind of be unstable when you have a, a manual transmission that's a more direct drive. With uh, automatic transmissions, you can go all the way down to like 70 and you just don't feel it as much with an auto. It, the torque converter soaks up a lot of that uh, difference. And these settings right here you can pretty much leave basically acceleration enrichment will be full below 2500 rpms and you will not need it anymore after about 5000 rpms the higher your your the faster your motor is going the less extra fuel it needs to continue accelerating usually just flooring it, uh, it will do that just fine after about 5000 rpms so you can leave that or mess around with it a little bit usually under 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs is where they need acceleration enrichment the most, unless it's a really strung out race engine that needs it in high RPMs. Uh, these over here, the tapers, these are just the taper times. Um, after it gives an acceleration enrichment, it tapers off for 0.1, uh, 0.1 seconds, 
and then the the uh, the length of taper, how long the main enrichment pulse, um, they it just makes it so it's a little bit smoother between the acceleration enrichment uh, pulses. It kind of blends in and blends out instead of just a hard shut off between the sprays. Uh, these ones you can basically leave. I've noticed you can leave these uh, in the default settings. A lot of the times, if you go here to these little help guides, they'll have a default setting, like zero is suggested. Um, for this particular one, I have one that, that just made my car run a little bit better. But uh, that's about it. Don't fear trying to play around with these. It's really difficult. Um, I know, I've been there. Sometimes you think, ah, oh, is it throttle? You know, is it my fuel map? Is it my other settings like you have you know some other setting that's adding fuel you really need to tune this when you have no other multipliers um, active so just try to shut off everything shut off uh, your overrun fuel cut and and uh, shut off your EGO correction things that are changing the fuel map you want it to just be based on performance so if the motor is more responsive and it blips better when you smack the throttle after changing some of these settings, uh, that's really what you're looking for. I, I tune them based on performance. Tuning them based on AFR with this is not really realistic because um, it, it changes so quickly. Your wideband it has a difficult time giving you an accurate reading. So don't worry about that. Don't use your AFRs. Unless it's going really lean, you can kind of see, oh, it might need more fuel. And you can change these. but. I wouldn't hyper focus on that. I would focus on the motor feeling good. If it revs quickly and it sounds good and it feels it feels like a healthy throttle blip, that's what you're looking for. So really, you can keep a lot of these settings down here at the bottom the same. Just focus on changing the milliseconds of added fuel during the low speed and high speed throttle blips. Uh, remember, small amounts when you have big injectors and large amounts when you have small injectors. So 0.2 milliseconds, 0.7, 1 millisecond, and 2 milliseconds would be great for like a 1,000 cc-ish injector, 800 to 1,000. If you have like stock engine, uh, you know, 3, 5, 10, and 15 milliseconds uh, of extra spray would be really sufficient for a smaller injector. That smaller injector needs more time to spray more fuel. But really, uh, yeah, just mess with these right here and it should be able to get you going. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I hope this gets you going on your project. This is a very basic overview. You need to use the internet and research a little bit more and use DIY Autotune's um, page here to really get a more in-depth uh, understanding of this if you want to go further. Andy Whittle, um, he is a basically a data scientist for uh, Megasquirt products. He has his own YouTube channel and goes into this in very deep detail, uh, even further than I really understand, to be honest, in some ways. So uh, you can check out his channel as well. And uh, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more uh, concise educational Megasquirt videos. Thanks again for your time.